Welcome to Tiger Wolf. I'm Josh, and this is David. Please be aware, this podcast contains strong language and spoilers. Hello. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our uh, past most recent season that is now concluding with this episode, season three. And maybe taking a little bit of a look on uh, what changes may be around the bend for season four. So, first thing on the list, David? Uh, paged them. I've, um, I've really enjoyed doing it. Um, I don't know if you guys have enjoyed listening to it. I hope so. <laughs> I have. I, I don't have the patience to sit and read a comic book, but I am interested in the stories. Yeah. Um, there, there might be some changes coming soon for it next season, maybe the season after, but we're definitely at least going to bring it back for next season. All right. So next up, Ink in Motion. Uh, I'm going to be taking greater control over this one, I think, um, so I can flex some more of my creative muscles and force myself to watch more anime and other things. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be trying to tackle this and you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes next season. And if it doesn't show up too much, it's because I'm fucking lazy. I'll yell at him. It'd help if y'all yelled at him on Twitter too. <laughs> Shitty game reviews, and we'll include in this also shitty movie reviews because we have the same opinion of both, yeah. I believe. Um, they might be a little bit more, uh, we might be a little bit more selective over what we, Actu- what we're yeah. actually covering. Um, we are definitely going to try to, uh, we're going to, we're going to try to actually flesh out our thoughts more before the episode, I'm maybe, saying. uh, put some effort into, um, writing up, uh, a good, concept of what we want to talk about for the episode and, and running with that. Yeah, um, we, kind of rambling. <laughs> well, we, I mean, we have had everything written up before. It's just sticking to it or actually writing it in, in more of a... Um, An outline way. Well, more of a... Um, <clears throat> just, just to get a better get our thoughts on there to express... Our, our thoughts and feelings about whatever it is, uh, whatever game it is, whatever movie it is. Yeah. Um, Cause sometimes it feels like I accidentally paint the wrong impression of my, of what I feel about a movie or something like that. Yeah. Like I've pretty much enjoyed everything I've watched, but I do throw out a lot of hate uh, on the things that I, uh, that annoy me about the things. Yeah. Um, and the next one is uh decrypted. Um, for for next season, uh, we would not be working on decrypted, as I feel, and I'm, you agree? Yeah, we we weren't putting enough effort into it and finding the time to do so was too difficult. Yeah, so we'll be pushing that out. We will be revisiting it in the future. Just next season, uh, we're gonna be taking a break from it. Yeah, and one of my personal favorites is next. Tiger Wolf plays. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot of uh, board game, card game type stuff. Um, one of the suggestions I had is going to be a quote game for next season. So mm-hmm. you guys get to listen to me and or Josh try to figure out who said a quote. Was it a superhero? Maybe a Disney princess? Maybe a goblin? In a rare occasion, possibly Maybe a goblin. <laughs> Sorry, that just hit me. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, maybe both a pris- princess and a hero. Yeah, maybe. There are a couple of those. So, Leia. <laughs> and um, one of another one of my favorites, because it does flex our creative muscles, Gamerworks, where we put two lazy gamers to work. Yep. Mostly free labor, but whatever. <laughs> I don't think it's free labor if, if you're working for yourself. We're not getting paid, so... One day. Help us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help that. Um, also, one that uh, we actually just kind of... Well, threw hold up. on. We didn't talk about Gamer Works. Oh, oh, look, we we're going to keep doing it. Well, yes. But what you can possibly ex- expect is um, a revisit of Maybe the a original... 
Finalation. Uh, really? That's an interesting way you phrase, David. Uh, a, re- a revisit to um, the initial idea that created those episodes, uh, potentially. I'm not exactly sure we, where we can go in this format for that. And definitely uh, an expression of new ideas um, will probably be coming through there, too. Just because I, I, I really enjoyed the last, uh, the last one we did. Zam- Zamboni, what was it? <laughs> I, believe, I believe you uh, determined it was going to be called Zampers. Ah, uh, yes. Zampers. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, that's a whip, but still. Uh, um, but like I was saying, another one that you just, we just started <laughs> literally at the end of the season, um, that you'll probably be seeing more. We're probably going to use it to cover the larger news stories or anything like that, that pops out is going to be, it's going to be our best format, uh, for throwing shade <laughs> and that's going to be bits and bites. Ooh. <laughs> Why you got to phrase it like that? <laughs> Because I should wear a cloak to make sure I've always got shade on me mm. to throw out. That's like a $40 clothing line, just saying. I look badass, right? I mean, everybody with a cloak looks badass. There's Batman, Superman. That's a cape, not a cloak. A cloak has a hood. But Batman does have a That's a, a cowl. The terms are important, okay? Strider. Okay, I'll give you that one. I'm like, wait, Gandalf. <laughs> I can, I can, I can do this your way, Gandalf. <laughs> I'm noticing a pattern here. Are you guys? <laughs> what Lord of the Rings isn't a pattern; it's a theme. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh. <laughs> are you? Yeah. All right. Um, Ray, <laughs> Star Wars. Okay. I'm like, which Ray? Well, yeah, I mean, that's, um, that, is, that is something I am looking forward to, to, to exploring more. I felt like we were leaving something out this season, and I think that uh, Bits and Bites will, will fill that in. Yeah, I think so. Um, and, you know, there's, there stands a good chance that you're going to get the random just two dudes chatting. Oh yeah, no, Every definitely. Every so often, so we're 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 definitely gonna just have to have episodes where we're just bullshitting. Yeah, those tend to be some of my favorites. So hopefully, next season is going to be. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Awesome, as enjoyable awesome. as this season was for you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I I mean honestly, like this new format for from my perspective. Um, is has been a lot less stress inducing. Uh, I've been able to. I've felt a little bit more creative because of the, the nice variety we've had. Yeah. So I, I feel like this was a a good effort towards our um and goals, which I don't know what those are exactly. This is to provide small bits of joy in an otherwise incredibly, incredibly dreary world. As of late. And uh, that was uplifting. Um, <laughs> I mean, we're not exactly the, the, the shining bright bulbs of uh, positivity either. Hey, even, a, look dim, at the, even just, a dim light casts some light. I'm just saying, <laughs> on the holiday episode, where we were specifically <laughs> trying to be positive, there we were, kind of failed a lot at that. Hey, there were some... Some it turned instances. into commiseration instead of, I want to say proliferation, but I don't think that's the right word. I don't think that's the right word either. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's getting stabbed. No, that's perforation. Okay. I thought that's what you said. Things that are perforated. I thought that's what you said. No, I said proliferation, which oh, is like- uh, prolific. I think, like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Okay, fair enough. It's a word. It's a word. I know the word. He may not know what the word means. I know what the word means sometimes when I look it up. Mm. Fair enough. <clears throat> <laughs> Was there anything specific 
uh, about any of the episodes that you wanted to to bring up? Like maybe one of the page dumps or something? Just like, I don't know. Um, Extrapolate on it. Honestly, of all of them, all the different ones we do, I think my favorites are probably Pagedom and Gamerworks. But that's because comics have been such a focal point in my life. And I'm I'm be honest, I'm a little surprised to hear Gamerworks is on that list. Just I mean How many half finished <laughs> thoughts do we have laying around your apartment right now? Laying around's a bit the the stack of notebooks right there, it's in one spot. And there's one right in front of you. Yes, because that is for the podcast stuff. You look, that's your phone. I have no idea what's on there. My backpack. <laughs> your phone. <laughs> I don't I don't like the way you're targeting me. <laughs> so just say it. No, like I'm I, I I understand. Like that's been something we've enjoyed since we were kids is is creating stories, stories, worlds. environments. And, yeah. And that's one of the reasons I was I'm I'm excited to potentially work more on doing that uh for next season and and on. And on. All buzz light your style. <laughs> to infinity. <clears throat> No, that was your cue. Why? No, that was your cue. And me uh, on! That's not because that's not uh, that's not how he says it. <laughs> for one, for two, no. <laughs> I haven't even watched the third one yet, and they've already announced a fourth one. Yep, took him like ten years to make the third one. <laughs> oh no, successful. Let's make another. One. Well, I mean, if you're gonna beat a dead horse. Make sure it's one that produces gold coins. I'd rather uh, cut it up and live inside of it for the winter. It gets cold outside. That was a lot more morbid than I thought it was going to be. I, what? Um, it was a Star Wars reference, I bro. know. I know. Tauntauns. I mean, they're much more adorable than horses. And that's fair. <clears throat> what about you? Um, honestly, I've really enjoyed doing Tiger Wolf plays, and I, I hope that we can diversify it a little bit more, and um, I don't know, just have some legit fun while they listen. That's right. I'm talking to you. Enjoy me. No, Whoa, I think you were talking about... That's weird. I think you were talking about them. No, I was talking... All right. <laughs> I was talking. We'll just end it there. I was talking. Um I I mean I'll be honest. Like I've I'm a little disappointed in myself in this past season because I feel like I, I didn't have a big enough part in a lot of this. And that I need to be doing more. But then I always have like those kinds of expectations of myself to do more. Oh, I mean like paged them. I, it was mostly me because it's, it's you read the comic, comic books. books, but also Ink and Motion was mostly, like I think statistically mostly you. Mm -hmm. We have Spider Verse. We have uh, we haven't. Well, yeah. Um, we have uh, Resident Evil. Vendetta, Resident Evil. Thank you. And then and uh, then half of Disentitled. Yeah. So yeah, that ended up being oh, mostly. It got you renewed too. for season two. Finally, uh, Disenchanted. Mm -hmm. Nice. I was a little worried because they hadn't done it yet and they've canceled three Marvel shows on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this, the time Disenchanted's frame. not so <laughs> Disenchanted's not owned by Disney. Disney didn't even know they canceled Daredevil until they told really? everybody. Yeah. Everybody's assuming that they canceled that it was canceled because Disney wanted to make their own <laughs> no, deal. They didn't. So Netflix know. just canceled yeah, it. Netflix killed it. Netflix is killing Why? their shows. For reasons? Maybe because they're about to be a competitor in the streaming service. That's my guess. But I mean, at the same time, look, I, I really I wonder if that like, was a contract um, issue there. I really like Carly, Charlie Cox as Daredevil. And I don't think Disney's going to bring him into the fold to be Daredevil if they reboot it. I mean, it is what it is, but... I mean, we already have a Daredevil in, in the um, movie universe. 
Hey, he made a damn good Batman. Maybe with the right. Uh, I enjoyed the Daredevil maybe movie the, back then. So yeah, but like looking it's, back, it's, it's pretty it's, terrible. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's very comic book. Uh, yeah, yeah, in the wrong ways. Yes, I'm not saying it was in the right ways. I'm just saying it's a very comic book. Um, but Batfleck, he's pretty. He did. I was super impressed with him as Batman. Yeah, and oh. Oh, we haven't talked about this at all. The Joker. Oh, <laughs> the tr- you saw the, that teaser? teaser. Oh my God! Is it's going to be like a sixties or seventies like period piece? It looks That's like what it looks like uh, of um the the Joker, and it's just oh my God! I don't know why it makes me so excited. Because you like period pieces. That's fair. <laughs> you, typically, they come out really well because there's, there's more like fine control over. How like what they want it to be mm-hmm. in a lot of ways. I like war movies. War movies is that what you said? Yeah, they typically end up being period pieces because they're focusing on specific wars. War. When, when, yeah, you know, um, Hurt Locker uh, was set during the Iraq Afghanistan uh, conflicts. Have you seen um, the movie with? Ben Affleck, where it's about the the fake movie thing that they're doing, that was an, um, a way to get into the country or something like that. I can't remember the name of the fucking movie. Not that I can think of right offhand. No, uh, it's like they they basically their crew for the the movie were actually soldiers. Oh oh um, yeah. Ah, I am drawing a blank. I know what movie you're talking about, though. Oh, what were you called? Uh, I can't remember. I yeah. We'll just move on. I'm I'm a little sad that we're getting rid of decrypted, but like I feel like it's the best move for us to increase the quality of our other episodes. Yeah, we'll revisit it. We yeah. owe it. It's. It, I mean, I'll be like transparent here. It's because I just don't know how to turn that information for these things into a good episode into a good talking point to listen to. Yeah. I feel like that we've, that de- we've, we weren't hitting high enough on, on, on the bar, bar. Uh, on, on the scale for, for what we've done. With I think, um, I think something we can do for decrypted. And I mean, we'll talk about this more. So Off mic. <laughs> but I think something that we could do is kind of what we did with the Chupacabra. How we, you know. Oh, t- try to decide like. Verbal vomit, the, the, the generic facts about it. And then well, go, yeah, the, right, so the so description. It's amphibious. <laughs> the, the description of what it looks like, the, um, like where it's been spotted, the circumstances around it being spotted and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, try to the, this is and this is what what I was trying to do in in a way of doing this better was try to yeah. figure out how to to get these these key points key points and then also like sightings if we can get that and then basically our take on it yeah but like with some of these things like the kraken for example like this is such a uh mysterious thing. Yeah, I mean, that it's it's very hard to 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 get enough information to do all that with, yeah, and and actually make a solid episode. Yeah, I mean, you know, half the episode would literally probably be what you know half the episode for Chupacabra was me explaining why it could possibly be amphib- uh, aquatic. <laughs> I'm still telling you, it's reptilian. <sighs> Speaking it of, I've been both. watching V lately. <laughs> I watched the first two seasons of the third reptilian aliens. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Like everything that goes with that, pretty much. They have human skin now. So. Okay. If I can get more if I can get more of it, I don't know if there's actually any more seasons to it. Or if it was canceled after two, I'd be kind of disappointed if it was. Because uh, it ends on a... A cliffhanger? Yeah. <laughs> of course it does. Um, I might do... I might do some kind of review or something on it to talk about it. Okay. Yep. 
Well, um, I think that does about that's about it for our end of season wrap up uh, episode here. Please let us know what you think of season three and and the new change in formats, and you know, yell at us for being stupid for removing decrypted or forever having it in the first place, <laughs> and or, or or any of the other episodes. Um. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. You know, like we'll always, be... just. Sorry. Go ahead. Like always, just you know, if you have anything you want to say about any of the episodes, you know, I misquote a comic book because it wasn't sitting in front of me. They usually are. Tell me. Point it out. That way, I'll remember. <laughs> um, if you want us to try to, if you, if there's a topic for. A video game. You want to sit, want to see if we could wrap our brains around? Throw it at us. Oh yeah, I'm totally into the idea of like, <laughs> um, like trying to. We we have discussions where we're like we're, we're analyzing video games and stuff like that. Like what this what could this actually mean or what have you and stuff like that. Um, maybe we'll um we'll look at doing something about that maybe in the future. Maybe we could do that as decrypted stuff instead. Mm. Um, that's what I do when I'm trying to think yeah I know <laughs> I mean I know this you know this episode's a little bit shorter than normal but yeah it won't be by much by the time we're done talking you mean rambling whatever it is <laughs> thank you guys for listening uh, to season three We'll be back in about a month. Yeah, give or take. Uh, to uh, to start season four. Second week of February. Do not have the calendar in front of me right now. But it can be. In three, two, one. Ah, I was right. Well, loosely, the, the, the week starting on the third of February. We will be back. Yeah. And I hope to see you then. Well, hear you. Well, I suppose that's the end of the episode. Please like, comment, follow, and share. And also, more importantly, thank you for listening. Take care. Bye.